Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the tub cover gasket on your top load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the washer far enough forward that we can tilt the main top up, leaving room for the console to tilt backwards. We'll also be working near some electrical circuits, so you'll either want to unplug the washer, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Once we've done that, we can start the repair. Now to raise the main top on this washer, we're gonna need a thin putty knife, and we'll win this gap between the front panel and the main top. And about four inches from the edge, you'll meet the resistance of a spring clip. Simply push in on your putty knife to release the clip, lift up on the top, and just hold it up long enough to repeat the procedure on the opposite side. And then while holding the lid against the main top, we'll tilt it back. If you're fortunate enough to be able to lean it up against the wall, simply allow that to rest. The hinges on this style of washer won't support the main top. So if you're unfortunate enough to not have a wall to lean it up against, use a lanyard and connect it to one of the holes in the bottom of the main top and secure it to the cabinet to hold it in place or have somebody hold it for you. And once we've done that, our next step will be to remove the tub cover. To remove that tub cover, we simply need to push down on the top of it while pulling the tabs away from the outer tub. Now, once we've removed all of those tabs, we're just going to flip that over. And next, we'll remove what's left of the old tub gasket. If you can locate a loose end, simply grab that and peel it out of that channel. You can then discard the old one. Now you'll note that the new gasket is not circular in shape. It's actually a long strip split down the middle and joined on each end. So when installing this into the new tub cover, we're simply going to carefully fold the end together and place it into one spot. Take the opposite fold and go 180 degrees opposite that and fold that in place. Before we install it, make sure that, that channel is completely cleaned out. We'll also make sure that we have the smooth side or finished side of that gasket pointing up. And then just carefully place that gasket into that groove making sure that we don't get any twists. We always keep the smooth side facing up. And avoid stretching it. It's cut to the proper size, so it should fit in there without having to stretch it at all. And then you can take a blunt flat blade screwdriver and just carefully push that the rest of the way down into the channel. Now, once we have it in place, we can then put the tub cover back on. Now we'll take note on that tub cover that one of the tabs has a larger opening in it. That will meet up with a larger notch on the outside of the outer tub on that front left corner. Then line up that locator tab and simply press down on the top of the tub cover. And those tabs should latch onto the outer tub. Just do a visual inspection. Make sure they're all locked in place. 
and then we can put the main top back down. Now we're lowering that main top and lid assembly. We want to make sure that we line up these holes in the bottom front edge of that main top over top of these two locating pins next to the spring clips. And simply press down on both sides until the spring clips latch in place. And then we're ready to push the washer back into place. We're now ready to push the washer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.